Oh my gosh. Oh my. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are in the car because we are going somewhere. We're going to Tenley, but we're not like really going to Tenley because Tenley actually came here to St. Louis and we're going to not go inside because we're still really like not comfortable being like in a crowd of people just yet. So my friend Ruth from Mostly Reptiles is actually going to be running me out a couple new additions, which you guys will see. And I thought it'd be fun to just bring you along. Once I get the new additions, we'll go home and I'll show you what they are. We'll set them up in their new enclosures and it'll be fun, I hope. <laughs> Yourself, right? Oh yeah. I guess we should probably tell people what they are. They're e They're marine. E and this is Ruth from Mostly legs. Reptiles. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys know her, but they're just getting their cute little stripes on their legs. This is gonna be a fun rehousing. Oh yes, they are very quick. <laughs> this one's hidden right there. I can see his little cute little butt. day and I just wanted to rehouse my new additions. So I did pick up two E. Marianus slings from Ruth over at Mostly Reptiles. She actually produced these herself. If you're new here, you might not be aware, but I do actually have a really beautiful adult female Ephibopus Marianus, and she's literally one of my favorite tarantulas. And I know I say that about a lot of my tarantulas, but like I mean it with her. I have a feeling this is going to be a really difficult rehousing because these are very quick and sometimes a little a little spicy. So I'm actually going to rehouse them in these enclosures. These are my Toledo Cuddle Albopolosum slings that I got like so long ago. I got these in November of 2017. They were like super teeny tiny and now they are quite, um, they're getting quite large. So I'm going to rehouse these into these containers and then I'm going to put the E. Moranis in these because I really think that these would be perfect and these guys are ready for an upgrade anyway. Oh yeah and also I did want to say that we did lose a tarantula not as in the sense that they died but more in the sense of he matured and I actually gave him to Ruth. It was my male Nandu Chromatis so he is on his way back with Ruth and hopefully he will be productive with her female. But anyway we have a lot to do. Okay so first we are going to put together these Brachypelma Toledo Cattle of a Pelosum enclosures. Hey, time to make a mess. <laughs> okay, cool. This looks really nice. A little bit of green moss. Here's one nice hunk of cork. That should be good. Another piece of cork. All right, so there we go. We got cork bark that we can dig around, make some hides, moss, leaf litter, and reptis soil. So let's do this. <laughs> All right, so here is the first one we are going to rehouse. Let's see, try to be really careful. Pick whichever one you want. Is that the one you want? Okay. Our choice has been made. Really easy. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a new label on this. But I think this will be a great little enclosure for this little one to grow even bigger in. And we will do the second one now. Hopefully this one goes as smoothly. This one's webbed up quite a bit though. I don't know. Hmm. How am I going to get you in there? No, 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 no. Go that way. Yep. There you go. And there is rehousing number two. Enjoy your new domicile. T. Albo. One, two. Cool. On to the next. Okay, so I just rinsed these out really quickly. They're all good to be filled and ready to go. I've got an extra barrier of protection because like I said, these e Marianas are pretty volty and we don't want to lose one. Catch cup on hand. So yeah, let's boogie. We're gonna give them a nice amount of substrate because they do like to dig. Let me do a little bit of leaf litter. 
This is for everyone who ever has anything to say about my nails. I've got some various cork pieces here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. Got like a little hole. See that better right there? And right there are just nice little starter burrows. Oh, this should be fun. I'm gonna locate where it is. Oh, it's right up there. Yeah, is that it? it? Does indeed look to be what I am looking for. And of course they've like webbed the top, which means as soon as I take the lid off, they're probably going to freak out. Big brush here. Oh. oh, I love when they like glue the lid to the top. It's great. Hopefully that makes this a little bit easier though. Oh, sh yep. <laughs> Not going in the right direction. Hopefully we can scare it back into here. The only thing I don't like about these containers is the not clear lid, but it's just what I had. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Not good. Okay. <laughs> now how do we get it out of the cup? <laughs> Can you go down? Because I did not poke a hole in this cup, stupidly. To be fair though, I think I actually did underestimate this because I was not expecting that level of bolt. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I want to bring you in closer, but I'm scared it's gonna bolt again. Check it out. Oh my god, it's so cute. Do you see how it already has those adult colorings that's like just coming in? I'm getting sketched out, so we are going to put that lid on. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's hope the second one is not like that, but I have a feeling it's probably gonna be like that. All right, so that was a lot of fun. Not for me, probably for you. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and try to rehouse the second one without any incidents. Like I said, these are like way faster than I anticipated, so that is my bad. I wonder if I can just like pull out. Okay, so I see its little feet down there. Wonder if I could just like flip it over since it's webbed so well. Carefully just like try to get it out like that. Can actually just let that dirt even even go in here with it as well. Maybe, actually not. There we go. <laughs> That's so much easier, but that works. It looks like it has two little water dishes in here. Also has those nice adult colorations. really really pretty so that's perfect and i really think this enclosure is good so yeah i am going to put the lid on immediately <laughs> okay so now we just got to make the labels and we are all done emoranus one and two Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we got these. It's gonna be so much fun. You can already see the little green butt on this one right back there, still hiding. This one, I have a feeling, yep, it's still right there. <laughs> I have a feeling it's probably gonna build a burrow around here. So I don't know, we will catch them in a feeding video, I'm sure. Ruth told me that they are really good eaters. They will eat crickets the size of them. So that'll be a lot of fun. And yeah, hopefully we got a girl. So there we have it. They're all rehoused. My new additions are going to be settling into their new enclosures. And I would say this video was quite a success other than the momentarily escape. How do you say that momentary, momentarily? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to see. Don't forget, I'm going to scream the videos probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Have a good whatever day it is that I post this.